Hello, this is Shane from Viscount Capital. Today I'm just going to run you through two very basic ways to calculate the beta of a stock. So what is beta? Beta, very simply, is just a measure of the sensitivity of an underlying security to its relative benchmark. So if you look at any of the major websites and you quote a stock, say on Bloomberg, you'll see that it will give you the beta to its respective benchmark. So, looking at this beta, it will probably be related to the S&P 500 or the FTSE 100 or any of the major uh, other indexes. But what happens if you want to compare a stock to perhaps its industry or if you want to compare its stock to a commodity like what I've done here. I've taken Rand Gold in the US and compared it with the Gold ETF, which is a measure of uh, gold bullion. So in other words, how does Rangold, which is a gold mining company, how sensitive is it to the price of gold? And there's two ways you can do this. The first is formula based, which is probably quite simple and quite effective as well. And it's really just the formula for beta, which is covar. So we take the covariance of the price change divided by the variance of the benchmark and we can change this to a number and have it as to decimal place. So here we have a result of the beta equaling to 1.36 so what does this mean? This means that if the gold ETF goes up by 1%, then Rangold would be expected to go up by 1.36%. And that's all based on data for 2010. And you can see here, the only formula based here, this is all static data which you need to get, the only formula that I have here is the log returns, which is the daily returns of the two securities. So here we have LN, B4 divided by B3, and exactly the same here. Now the second way to do it, which is arguably a little bit more tiresome because it's not formula based, is using data analysis, which comes from the data tab, then we want to run a regression analysis and then for the Y range we want to select the underlying stock and for the Y range or for the X range I should say we want to use the benchmark we don't have any labels and the output range we can put it just below where we calculated beta previously so we can click OK and here we have a summary output figure that we're interested in is down here, just where it says X variable, and we have 1.3652, which is the same beta we have here, although it's been rounded off differently. So, in effect, both method methods are pretty much the same. I tend to use the formula based method, which is just because a lot of the time I'll have number of securities and instead of doing a regression analysis you know 10 20 times I can just drop and dra drag the, the formula across and it'll generally take into account uh, all the different prices and it's just a lot more uh, efficient with your time so that's it that's all I have to offer thank you very much for watching and good luck in modeling beta and uh, trying to measure the sensitivity of your assets Thank you.